Wait a minute. That's new. Yo, Yun, did you buy a new microphone? Uh, yes, I bought one. Because <laughs> I need another one. Well, you're speaking like you don't have any when you have six of them. Yeah, but this one is wireless. Did you just say it's wireless? Hello, this is Ian. How's it going, everyone? And today I'm reviewing the Rode Wireless Go Lavalier microphone system. And so in the box, it has a receiver that's with the display. There's a USB-C charging port and audio output port on the left and power button on the top. There's a clip at the back and also you can use it for mounting on a camera shoot. At the bottom, it has a link button and volume adjustment button. And here's a transceiver with the indication light for battery and connectivity. And at the top, there's a microphone and mic input, charging port on the right side, and a power button at the bottom. And it comes with two USB-C cable uh, that is from type C to A and three feet in length and with the tidy uh, cable management Velcro that has a road logo on it and I love it. And I forgot to mention that they also include the audio jack for the receiver. Then there's a two dead cat, the windscreen, that's no longer broken. They changed the design so that it works properly now. And a pouch that can use to carry the whole system, but I think it's a little too small for including the charging cable into it. So here's my first impression about it though. So it's bigger than what I expected to be honest because uh, it's about 44 millimeter and 44 millimeter on the other side and it's about the finger length finger length finger width thickness i don't really mind about the receiver size because it's gonna stay on the camera shoe for the most of the time anyways but the transceiver size seems it's not ergonomic enough that it's when you put it on the collar of the shirt it flips out and ended up not recording it properly if the clip is a little longer or maybe a little wider then it might help but as of now i mean it's nice to have same thing same looking thing as a set but it's not ergonomic enough so that's why i put it on the vertical side so tackle this issue road is now making the magnetic holder that you can clamp your shirt between the magnets and your uh, lav microphone uh, but as of april 28th pandemic year i can't get the hold of anywhere in canada and canadian market with in both online and offline not yet when it comes out i'm gonna buy it now i own a rode video mic pro plus which is their top of the line video microphone section except for the one the brand new one it looks like a shock straight out shotgun mic pro plus is retailing at 379 canadian dollars 379 but i bought this for 300 dollar use complete almost brand new and yes victory <laughs> for a compact shotgun that has built-in power and have multi-function it's the noise level is really good i really love this microphone especially when i use attenuation uh, it sounds so much clear i don't know why people keep complaining about how basic unclear the sound this is but you can easily fix it just press a one button you don't even need to do the post processing professional standard point obviously it's not clear enough but that's not what I'm trying to achieve with this microphone. If you're trying to achieve that, you're doing it wrong. So although I like the shotgun microphone, but you have to be uh, in the right environment to record a proper audio with that. By what I mean, you have to be very close to the subject. You have to be uh, acoustically dry, which means it doesn't echo a lot in the room or your environment. And three, you cannot record from the behind the camera or a back of the microphone, which happens a lot when you are doing a one-man band type of scenario like this. So this is camera test for Rode uh, Video Micro Plus microphone, the shotgun microphone. I'm about 174, 175 in height and I'm about two meters away from the microphone itself and it's windy right now. Perfect. Okay. Um, I'm speaking here to the shotgun microphone I have. I'm right now about like five meters apart. This makes it six meters. This is far away from the microphone. You 
you should not use a microphone display. It's a dumb it's a waste of money. So now I'm gonna change to the wireless lab mic. So this is a Rode uh, Wireless Go microphone right now. I put it on right here and you can probably already guess you can hear it as far as I want it to go at this range. Apparently the whole range is about like 15 meters. Uh, if I turn away, I don't, I'm not sure if it's gonna uh, get the reception. So I think this is more versatile, uh, easy to use. I don't have to hold the camera all the time, which is very good, especially for the vlogging. I think, I don't know why people getting or recommending um, uh, video shotgun mic for a vlogging. I don't know how the uh, wind sounds like right now. I don't have anything uh, on this microphone. I don't have a windshield or muffler, whatever you call it, I don't have it. So it's a little bit windy, but not too bad. So this, this is a wind test for the Rode Wireless Go. I'm gonna ride my longboard from this hill from top to bottom. And right now I don't have any uh, wind muffler that comes with it. Now with the wind muffler. Stays. Stays right here. So this is a test for Rode Video Mic Pro Plus on an acoustic, acoustically not treated room. Um, it's, it's a bathroom, shower, uh, everything just reflects small and sounds very wet. So now I changed back to a wireless Go and this is lab mic test on an acoustically not treated room and my microphone is much closer to the sound. I expect I expect the sounds to be echo still because I can hear it echo, uh, but it's gonna be more clear. My voice is gonna be more clear because the microphone is much closer to me, and I don't have to uh, be on the line of sight of the camera in order for me to have good quality audio. Well, the shotgun microphone does offer a little bit of pocket behind of the actual. Uh, microphone that you can speak to and then record it, but then it doesn't sound very good. It's muffled and it's like underwater. Plus, because I'm terrible at memorizing what I have to say during the video, when I'm reading the script, like behind the paper, I don't really cover the um, microphone and you can still record a proper voice with it. And here's the, what I really like about this particular system is that it comes pair already. When you open the box, you can immediately use it. Even if you have to pair, it's super easy. The button is right on the face of the um, the unit itself. You don't have to go through a complicated menu system or whatsoever. And the volume adjustment is, although I think it's a little bit hotter side uh, compared to my shotgun microphone. Uh, it, has, it comes in three levels, small, medium, loud. I think it's adequate. Battery life is great. It's seven hours runtime with displays on. It's impressive. Display, of course, is super handy. You can check the volume of the microphone, the level. You can also check um, the battery of both receiver and transceiver at the same time. I mean, I know a lot of YouTubers or on internet, it's kind of uh, comparing between Saramonic uh, Blink 500 because it is valued better. It's not actually cheaper. It, I said valued better because it comes with two transceiver instead of one. So you get two microphone with one receiver at 
359 Canadian dollars, whereas the Rode microphone uh, system comes with 279 Canadian. When I bought it, right now it's 300 because the whole uh, pandemic situation is happening. And it seems the value is better at Rode for me because not only their microphone quality is better in built-in microphone the whole reason that i bought this system is how simple this is i don't need to put another wire into it and put it in this one in the pocket and then run through underneath my uh, t-shirt com coming out of it hide it right here so nobody can see my microphone that doesn't really makes sense for me. Rode is putting what really matter in small YouTube production. And personal opinion is that putting a two microphone into one audio channel is never a good idea. I think you should always get a separate uh, lavalier uh, channel for each lavalier. Uh, for that reason, uh, Rode Wireless Go is perfect for me and I think it's well suited for most of the demographics that's looking for uh, a one-man band videography solution for lavalier microphone and that's been it and i hope it was entertaining and see you next time bye